Hi there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. What age do you think we as humans actually mature into an adult? Is it 18? Is it 21? Is it 25 or even older? Well, this is an interesting question to answer. Watch this video to find out the answer yourself. Before that, remember to give this video a thumbs up and also do share that with your friends and also family members. Most importantly, this channel aims to bring you information about psychology and also psychology degree. So let's say if you're interested in content like this, then don't forget to hit on the subscribe button so that you wouldn't miss any of my future content. Depending on the regions that you are living in, legally speaking, when we turn 18 years old, we would have been considered as an adult. With that, certain privileges and also freedom come along with it. For example, driving a car, entering a bar, a club, or watching an R-rated movie alone in the cinema. However, the law is not implemented equally across all different areas of life for an 18 years old adult. Aside from all these superficial privileges, this so-called 18 years old adult are still denied the freedom to execute their rights, for example, casting their votes in certain part of the world. Oftentimes, these 18 years old adults will have to wait till they are 21 years old in order to be given the chance or the opportunity to execute their right as a citizen. So, the question right now here is, is a 21 years old adult more capable than an 18 years old adult? Well, according to research, our brain does not stop growing until the age of 25. So, Anyone who is below the age of 25 actually has a brain of teenager. Well, shocking. Let us dive deeper into the details and understand what's going on in our brain before the age of 25. Adolescent is a stage where all of us have to go through before transitioning from childhood into adulthood. And it is also the stage where we go through a lot of changes externally in terms of our physical appearances and also internally in terms of our brain structure due to the changes in our hormonal level. However, hormonal changes is not the sole explanation for many erratic behaviour displayed by teenagers. The immaturity in certain brain part also contributed to the problems. According to research, it says that the brain of an adolescent has less white matter compared to the brain of an adult. And the presence of white metal or aka myelin is important in speeding up the transmissions of signal in our brain. In other words, it means our brain will become more mature and functional as we grow older. And this is especially true for the brain part of prefrontal cortex. Prefrontal cortex is responsible for cognitive analysis, abstract thoughts, and also moderations of our behavior. In other words, we need this part of our brain to think before we act, the way the pro and cons, and most importantly, to control our impulsive behavior. However, the prefrontal cortex is one of the few last brain areas to be fully matured in our entire lifespan. Research pointed out that it would take approximately 25 years for this brain area to be fully matured. So, the saying of young and dangerous is scientifically correct. Now, let's go back to the question of asking if 18 years old or 21 years old is truly the age when we will successfully transform into an adult in the eye of law. Well, based on the information presented earlier, biological speaking, it should be 25 years old because this is when the brain has fully matured and capable of making sound decisions. However, does that mean that we should simply just push the legal age of an adult to 25 years old? Hmm, there is no straightforward answer for this question. On one hand, raising the legal age of an adult to 25 years old might possibly reduce the chances of people engaging in immature behaviour, for example like drunk driving or drug taking. On the other hand, raising the legal age of an adult might potentially reduce the overall productivity of a nation because the citizens won't be able to contribute back to the society by taking up a proper job. Not only that, we will also need to take into the account of the fact that youth nowadays are generally more well-educated, or in other words, people are more well-informed nowadays. Therefore, the decision of raising the legal age is not that simple. Essentially, it is now a fact that our brain will only be fully developed at the age of 25, but that does not necessarily mean that we will be less valuable before the age of 25. Environment still play a huge role in the development of our brain, so getting ourselves educated is one of the ways to ensure a rapid development of our brain. Thank you so much for watching till this far, and that's all I have for you guys today. If you like the video, then do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and also do share that with a friend. And let's say if you're interested to find out more about psychology and also psychology degree, then do not forget to hit on the subscribe button so that you wouldn't miss any of my future content. Till then, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!